Hello, this is Ron Brown. I'm beginning a series of videos on uh, VPA or volume price analysis and I'm going to be using the uh, code which is available Amy Broker. This code has been uh, generously put into the public domain and uh, the man responsible is uh, Karthik Marar. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure, but he works for Honeywell. He is uh, Indian as you can see and he has done a tremendous job of writing code for Amy Broker using the VPA principles. Now you can uh, go to his uh, site and download this if you want to. His site is right here. You can just uh, pause this video and uh, write this down and uh, you can uh, go download the latest one version 3.0 one zero it's with the exploration and you'll see what the exploration does when I get around to that now I'm basing this on the principles as outlined in Anna Collings book a complete guide to volume price analysis this is going to be uh, a, uh, a big part of the upcoming uh, seminar in Palos Verdes California I'm going to uh, be using uh, Anna's book uh, as the basis for a lot of the uh, chart reading and uh, Anna and her husband David are uh, going to uh, join us online for an hour or so. They were going to attend the seminar but unfortunately she fell and had to have surgery and cannot travel. So what's, what I'm going to do is begin this series. I'll show you how to set up uh, Metastock files in HGSI and export them so you can use them in uh, Amy Broker and uh, then I'll just uh, generally uh, get into this. I'll show you the basics. I'm not going to uh, really get into uh, all of the things that I'm doing but I'm going to uh, show you enough to whet your appetite. Let's talk a little bit about VPA. VPA is volume price analysis. This is a technique that's been around for at least 80 years. Uh, uh, Wyckoff used it, uh, a, a form of this, of course, he wasn't computerized, he just uh, had the knowledge to look at the charts and look at price and volume, support and resistance, and uh, that's where it uh, really originated. Uh, Jesse Livermore was uh, one of the most famous tape readers. He made and lost a lot of fortunes, but his primary method of analysis was reading a ticker tape. No charts were available, of course, at that time. But what is interesting is that these techniques that they were using um, so many years ago are still valid. In fact, uh, some uh, of uh, the uh, current well-known traders uh, have figured out that uh, less is more. They uh, are going back to these basic principles after they have uh, uh, given up on having uh, too many indicators on a chart. Too many indicators on a chart, in my opinion, uh, just leads to confusion. Why not look at the uh, the uh, basis of all indicators, price and volume, get down to the uh, core of the, or maybe I should say the essence of uh, what drives uh, stocks, indexes, uh, anything that uh, we chart and has uh, price and volume. I have a chart of Apple in front of me, a daily chart, and you can see that there are uh, different colored signals on here. These are VPA signals. Now I have to warn you right now, not all signals work, but have you ever seen an indicator where all signals work? What VPA does for me is really gives me a feel for a stock, an index, an ETF, and so on, and it uh, allows me to focus on what is happening with these individual bars. Now you can set this up with candle 6.2 I am using it in the uh, form that uh, uh, Karthik uh, put out there because this shows the trends or the transitions and uh, with the uh, the bar charts it works just fine. I do have uh, some charts which are also candle charts but I'm uh, not going to uh, get into that right now. When a signal is below it is generally well, it is a, a, a positive or bullish signal or a warning like test for supply. It doesn't necessarily mean a buy. When it's above, that's a negative signal. So you can see 
that there are multiple signals here. Now what's nice about his coding is if I click back over here on that signal and go to interpretation it tells me exactly what this signal is and that information is also up here. An up bar closing near the high after a test confirms strength. Now what's a test? Well you can see that this apple was selling off here. Volume was high. Notice that on this uh, indicator that I'm using the buy volume was 94 percent. The sell volumes 6 percent. So that tells me that this closed near the high of the day. So that was a test and you can see that it went up a few days, came back down. It did not violate this low and then after that it uh, shot up. Here was another test right here. Well that's actually a different signal. Let's see what it is. A no supply which is essentially a, a test. It's lighter volume but so that means there's not a lot of selling and um, that indicates no supply. So you'll, you'll learn a lot about VPA if you install the um, code and I'm going to show you how to do that. That is all I'm going to uh, put into this video. I will move on to the next uh, next video on um, exporting Metastock files from HGSI so you have good, reliable data to work with in 